All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be in the lightweight division and the 154 pound division at the same time. Jermel Iron Man Charlo comes to the defense and gives great words of encouragement to the undisputed champion uh, from one undisputed champion to another, Devin Haney of the lightweight division with over his battle with Ring Magazine. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, let's talk about uh, a pound for pound discussion that is flying around Twitter with Ring Magazine, Devin Haney, and now Jermel Charlo, uh, two undisputed fighters and one of the most um, um, well-known boxing public publications or the most well-known and revered uh, boxing publication that there is uh, related to the sport. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your support. Greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, man, this is a really, really... Um, Fun, in, fun, fun issue for me uh, because it involves a lot of the things that are very, very fake about the box, about the world of boxing and very real at the same time. You have Devin the Dream Haney, who is the undisputed champion in the lightweight division, the WBA, WBC, WBO and IBF lightweight champion who does have a fight coming up October 15th, 16th against George Cambosis to defend those belts in Australia uh, was not happy at all about being left off of. Oh, also, I should add, he is the ring magazine champion at 135 pounds. So four real belts and the ring title, which boxers and different pundits put a lot of value on for whatever reason that they do it. I don't necessarily agree with it, but hey, man, I'm just one boxing fan. What do I know? So <laughs> Devin Haney tells ring magazine after he finds that he is not on the pound for uh, not listed as a pound for pound top fighter on ring magazine that they can keep their belts uh he goes has a back and forth uh, with it with uh dougie fisher who was the editor-in-chief of ring magazine right won't go get into the details of that because honestly the details of that are like to me you know i'm very very happy that that um Devin Haney said what he had to say because that I do believe, you know, is an organization that can definitely uh, benefit from hearing thoughts like that. I've been a critic of Ring Magazine for a while related to those guys conflating their title with the lineal title, saying that because you are, you know, purposely confusing is what I mean by conflating purposely confusing the concept of a lineal championship and being the man that beat the man with being the ring champion that has a belt that looks like an old school belt, but really is given to you because boxing writers say that, say that you're the number one and number two uh, rated guy. And they allow you to fight whenever they decide it's time to put it on the belt. So ring magazine and journalists are trying to decide at the end of the day, who the lineal champion is never did like that. The pound for pound issue on the other hand is something that is just somebody's opinion and it is what it is. We all have all kind of different people have different ideas about why they think somebody should be the pound for pound guy. It doesn't really, it's not anything that is real. How in the sense that, you know, it is something that you can earn in a ring is what I mean right? Uh, it is something that is important for marketing concepts. You know, the perception of a fighter in a marketing sense and all of that could very well have value in that regard. But as a boxing fan, for me, look, I know who the writers are. I've read what they've read. I agree with them sometimes, don't agree with them on others. Pound for pound is so monstrously subjective that I don't really trip on it too much. But Devin Haney tripped on it and he basically said, look, hey man, how can I be the ring champion? And you have a guy on there that is in my same weight division, doesn't hold any of the belts, but yet he is in the pound, he's pound for pound, right? 
they go back and forth. But what I, this is what I think is a really good thing that comes out of it. First of all, first and foremost, regardless of how the, the Devin Haney situation comes out with all that, whether he sends it back, doesn't send it back, whatever. First, they now felt and they got a, a bell rung about making sure that you represent people fairly and understanding that you have some consequence to when you put things out and you come across in a fashion that seems, you know, exceptionally um, biased, right? People throw that word around a lot. But with Ring, if it was just one thing, I would say, okay, whatever, it's a difference of opinion. But when it happens over and over and over again, man, come on, man, I'm not trying to hear that, man. You still got Jermont, you still got Anthony Joshua, have, who lost to two different people, ranked behind um, uh, Anthony Joshua, when Anthony Joshua has now lost uh, not one fight, not two fights, but he's lost three fights and they came to do two different people and one guy that wasn't even in his weight class and both of them he was favored to win the first time they fought. Now, what I like is when Jermel Charlo comes in and really says, man, brings a very, very mature outlook to it. And what he says is, look, man, don't let no man discredit you for something you've worked your life for to accomplish. Uh, enjoy your straps. We know what it is. Their, uh, their opinion doesn't matter. Keep eating. Uh, yo, the, the the reality is the Hall of Fame. You, it can't take that away from you. Uh, one day your kids will enjoy uh, what others can. And that is exactly what the truth of the matter is. Ring Magazine's opinion don't matter. <laughs> it, and as soon, and that's what I like about however this goes about Devin Haney giving them their belts back because it does not matter. What's really going to pan out for him is what he does in the ring. And if he keeps doing, if his career over the next five years goes the same way that it has gone over the beginning of his career, that kid is going to make it to the Hall of Fame. He's an undisputed champion at 135 pounds. If he has a good career and wins championships at 140 and gets a championship, his hand on a belt at 147, Devin Haney is going to be in the Hall of Fame. And at the end of the day, that is what, as far as your accomplishments and goals and all of that stuff in boxing, that's what's going to matter. People, when Andre Ward you know, people do not remember where Andre Ward was in Ring Magazine's pound for pound list right now. Many years after the dudes were after he's retired, they know that last as soon as he retired and he was eligible. Boom, this kid, this guy, not kid, excuse me, kid at the time makes it into the Hall of Fame and the lack of credit that they gave him during his career all fades away. Same thing for 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 uh, for Devin Haney. So I am out of this whole situation. I'm going to take all of the positives out of it. Number one, Devin Haney let uh, Dougie Fisher and those guys have their, have an earful and they got put on blast for it. And that is a beautiful thing because those guys are very inconsistent in what they do. Now, there can, I do believe there's such thing as subjectivity for sure. In, in um, being inconsistent is something else altogether. Guillermo Rigondeaux showed up on the pound for pound list with, with, uh, was off the pound for pound list as, um, for, uh, a, as an undefeated fighter. He made the, he made the pound for pound list for them when he was fighting Donito Donair. He'd never lost. He got put off that list. He didn't pop on until it was time for Vasily Lomachenko to get on there. Right? So they clearly, in my opinion, show favoritism or a favoritism towards some fighters and definitely fighters that are not American compared to the treatment that they give non-Americans. I won't say that they're biased necessarily against American fighters, but let me put it this way. They sure don't show them a lot of excess love, put it that way. But anyway, at the end of the day, shout out to Devin Haney for doing it. And shout out to Jermel to, to, for Jamel Charlo, who was in the same situation, an undisputed champion who did make that list, but at the same time did not make ESPN's list and did not make other pound for pound lists when he clearly should have. Just to say, hey man, it is what it is. Let's move on, man. Don't let them cast bother you. Now, when he says, don't let them discredit you, I don't know what he means, but if he means by don't let them bother you or feel as if for some way they have some impact on you, man, just keep it pushing, bro. What matters is what you do in the ring, and I think that's 100% correct. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Peace.